All right, so I've opened up Mudbox, and this is going to be the very first tutor part of this tutorial. Um, just basically how to navigate and use some brushes and all. And this is the default that it opens up as here. I'm going to go File, Import, and import in my low-res OBJ file from Maya. <clears throat> um, the controls are just like Maya getting around. Um, I'm assuming that you already know how to use Maya. Um, similar things like if you have a brush selected here like the soft brush and you want to adjust the size the shortcuts holding down B and I can adjust the size of my brush um, you'll see size over here changing you can also do just do the slider but I like to do it in the window with B the strength is also here and you can do it with the slider or you can hold down M and you'll see that little bar uh, vertically go up and down that's basically showing you your fall off and strength level um, you can also, as I sculpt on it like this, it's coming out. That's pretty nasty. But if I want to invert the function, just hold down control and it goes in. There's also an invert function checkbox here to either push or pull. But just holding down control is a much more intuitive way of doing that. Um, also, if you left it out of Maya world axis, um, centered on the world axis of the model, you can mirror on the X, Y, Z, and basically sculpt both sides of the model. Um, it's pretty convenient. Um, right now, the model is at the active level zero, and its highest level zero. It is the base mesh. Shows up here in the layers palette as poly, poly surface six. I can just rename it base head by just double clicking on the layer name there like in Photoshop. We can go under mesh, subdivide selection, and we are now at active level one, the highest level one, and we have a face count of 11,000 faces now. We can hit the W key and look at the wireframe. Page up and page down will take you up and down subdivision levels. If I hit page down, we go down and you can see in the wireframe that I'm down a level and it also shows you here active level zero that we still have the highest level one so I'll page up I'll hit W to go back into shaded mode and basically you have your simple brushes here your soft scratch smooth pinch bulge flatten they do what they say soft brush is the one I use um, most commonly I'm gonna pull my magnitude down because it's freaking out I use soft brush um, here's your fall off stamp and stencil the fall off sir you know like they say this is going to be a sharp fall off where it kind of comes to a point sort of if the mesh was smoother you could tell and this is a really smooth fall off you can see the difference you can see the difference even in this low rise mesh nice smooth fall off and harsh fall off you can on this little arrow tab you can add your own fall off in there and um, under the fall off tab in here you can actually create your own any way you want that's pretty cool um, uh, the other one you might want to do is faces if the mesh is getting real heavy in the millions of polygons you just like that paint uh, the spot you want to work on and go display hide unselected and now you can just work on I caught a little bit of the back there but you can just work on this one spot so go display, show all to go back. That's kind of nice. Um, you can also freeze parts of the mesh that you are happy with the sculpting and you don't want to um, modify anymore. That's when it's blue like that. If I go back in with my soft brush and I go and hit it, everything around it is going to bump up, but it's not going to phase that locked or frozen area. And oh nice Just un Z that that's nice um, basically that's how you uh, generally would sculpt or whatever in here <laughs>